Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. The war on Christianity getting even worse. That's the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Kenya, Africa. Five radical Muslim killers murdered at least 70 people at a college in that country. At least another 75 were wounded. Gunmen burst into a Christian prayer service, proceeded to shoot down the innocent worshipers. That comes after a mid-March suicide bombing in Pakistan, killing 14 Christians, wounding 70 others. A few weeks before that, Libya, ISIS killers beheading 21 Egyptian Christians. So you can see Christians are being slaughtered all over the place. Here in the USA, verbal attacks against Christians are the headline. As we reported yesterday, some far-left people aided by a sympathetic media are now smearing Americans who oppose things like abortion and gay marriage. No question, it is open season on Christians. There are no great religions. They're all stupid and dangerous. <laughs> And we should insult them. All religions, I think, sell you a problem and then sell you the solution. They remind me of the Three Stooges episode where they're exterminators, but first they go to the house and plant ro roaches and rats. <laughs> Mr. Mar, a well-known religion hater who is much lionized by the media, given a free pass to bash people of faith. His anti-religion movie got some negative reviews, as did his attacks on Islam, but his vicious behavior toward Christianity largely ignored in the press. Now, a recent poll from the Associated Press is instructive. Here's the question. In states where same-sex couples can be married legally, do you think that wedding-related businesses with religious objections should be allowed to refuse service to same-sex couples or not? 57% say yes, they should be allowed to refuse marital service. 39% say no, 4% don't know. A public religion research institute poll asked, in America today, do you believe that the right of religious liberty is being threatened or not? Yes, it's being threatened, 54%. No, 41%. Don't know five. So most Americans get it, even though the secular progressives have succeeded in putting people of faith on the defensive. Perhaps the best example of this is the pizza shop in Walkerton, Indiana. The media went to the store. The owner said they wouldn't feel comfortable catering a gay wedding. A theoretical question, as pizza not usually on the menu at wedding receptions. Well, all hell descended on the store, as secular zealots threatened all kinds of things. I actually think what it shows is that when you have a lynch mob underway, and you have a number of people doing things that are purely symbolic, that it's very hard to stand up to lynch mobs. Once again, the reason all this is happening is the lack of pushback by American religious leaders. It is very rare to see any high-ranking Catholic cleric defending the faithful publicly. Protestants are a little bit better, but organized efforts to defend the Christian faith are rare. Therefore, the anti-religion people have a free-fire zone to attack at will. And that's a memo. Now, the top story tonight, reaction. With us here in New York City, syndicated columnist Ann Coulter. And you wrote a column today that says what? <laughs> that says the media is subjecting us to a, a whole series of fake stories, and we have a different hate campaign each week from, you know, hands up, don't shoot, the uh, fraternity rape at UVA, going back to the Duke Lacrosse fake rape, um, hysteria over nuclear power, and this week's hate is... It was, just happens to be on the Christians. Now, that is a longer trend, as I, I described in my book, Godless. It's Christianity that the left hates, hates most of all, because that is the foundation of our country, and everything, all of our freedoms come from that. Freedom of association, freedom of speech, um, this direct attack on the Christians, and I, I agree with your Talking Points memo, I wouldn't put so much stress on what's happening in other countries. The rest of the world is a cesspool of violence and atrocities. This is the most consequential nation on Earth. Earth. And the fact that these Christians would rather get praise from the New York Times' Nicholas Kristof by changing bedpans of Ebola patients in Nigeria, rather than stand up to the New York Times and fight against abortion and fight against these bullies, and I don't think it's gay bullies, I think it's what you, as you call them, secular progressives or liberals, um, the media, they're the ones who are trying to tear down this country by going directly at the heart of America, which is Christianity. Where are the Christians and where are the Republicans? I'm glad this Mike Pence isn't running for president. They are falling like Well, like I had a soldiers. discussion with Carl Rove last night, and I said to Mr. Rove, if the Republican nominee for president wants to win, he or she better start sticking up for people You're of faith. You're absolutely right. And because if they don't, 
then it's going to be the same old wishy-washy, yep. don't have the backbone to defend us. Yes, and incidentally, man of happen? steel, it, Jeb Bush has backed down. Well, I'm, uh, I don't want to look. Uh, look, they all have. Governor, Pence, the governor, governor Bush, of Arkansas. If governor Bush complain, will be sitting where you're sitting soon, and we'll see if he's going to back down or not. He did. But 80 percent of Americans describe themselves as Christian. 80 percent, overwhelming. Right. All right. However, the 80 percent are getting thumped. They're yes. losing. Yes. By what? Five, eight percent? How did that happen? Because. Um, the small town owners of pizzeria have more Christian courage than c most Christian leaders and certainly the Republican Party. Um, I mean, if the one thing and a few days before Easter, it, it's worth mentioning, besides eternal life with your creator, the one thing every Christian should have is courage. The most important thing in your life, in eternity, is already taken care of. Go out and fight. You're afraid of being sneered at by the New York Times? That is the one thing every Christian should have, and most of them don't. You have a cross on your, on your neck. Uh, what faith are you? I mean, what religion are you? Um, I'm a straight Christian. I was, I'm Protestant? A, Presbyterian. Presbyterian. I'm a okay. quarter Catholic. Um, you can't be a quarter it's Catholic. Sort of you're, dominant you're either gene. in or you're out. All right. You can't. You, you I can't. Go to which one, no everyone hybrid. has the evening okay. services. Now, the morning person. My religion, Roman Catholicism. I have been critical of the fact that there are no clerics in America, zero, who put themselves out to defend the Christian faith. Nobody. All right. There they might, they might write some. a column here or there, but believe me, we've asked them to come on the program. And you don't get anybody to come on. You should have asked now, me. The I know what to tell you. We got Jeffress in, uh, in uh, Dallas, the, the Protestant minister, and he's now become a Fox analyst, so he comes on. We got uh, a couple of Catholic analysts, uh, Father Morris and things like that. But, but the leadership, the big yes. boys, yes. okay? Remember Falwell? He's dead. All right, Robertson. Right. He's in his, I think, close to 90. So they're they're out of the of the playing field. Billy Graham, he's out of the playing mm -hmm. field now. His son Franklin does does come on and does speak up, but there isn't an organized attempt no. as there is in the gay lobby, yep. in the abortion women's reproductive rights lobby. Uh, you got now. You got all these pressure groups. Right. All right. You don't have anything on the Christian side. Right. Isn't that strange? There are, there are individuals, and I will give you a list after the show, um, Eric Metaxas, Michael McConnell, and as far as the priests go, Father Rutler right here in New York. I'd have them all on. Um, but abs it is strange, and I'm telling you it is cowardice. Most people would rather risk getting Ebola than being called a homophobe, a racist, the horrible... Right. Accusations, ad hominem attacks thrown at Christians in this country. And it's time for Christians to, to recognize that the big thing's taken care of. Could you be courageous and fight for the most consequential nation on earth? Okay. Ann Coulter, everybody. Next on the right down.